Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know what has happened should not have happened. Need PG getting postponed just 12 hours before the exam. This is really very unfortunate. I know what all of you are going through right now because I've myself been in this situation way back in 2021 when I was about to appear for the Need PG on 18th of April and just 48 hours before the exam, they canceled the exam with just a tweet on Twitter in this similar way. Very, very uh, shattering experience and very disappointing, I would say, because after giving so much time for a competitive exam, definitely you want to get away from the exam. You want to get done with it, but unnecessary delays and preponement doesn't make any sense. And in your case, it's just 12 hours before the exam, which is really very unfortunate. This is the reality which has happened. We have to accept it because these are things which are not under control. Now, there's no point discussing why the government did this, whether it was for a NEET PG paper leak, whether it was for a precautionary measure, whether it was a step after the NEET UG scam or the UGC net exam getting cancelled. There are various hundred reasons which we can go on and keep on discussing. But the point is, these are things which are not under our control. So to bring things into perspective, I would like to share a story with you all, which I myself used during that time to get things into perspective and to make some sense out of that situation. This is a very famous story of a Hungarian shooter, Kareli Takas. You must have heard about him. Kareli Takas was a Hungarian sh a pistol shooter and he was also into military training. He was representing his country at a national level uh, in the pistol shooting and he was the national champion at that time. But a very unfortunate incident happened during his military training where a grenade burst in his right hand and he lost his right hand in the process. That was the hand which he has trained all his life for the pistol shooting and which had made him the champion. So that was very shattering for him. But what he did was he started training his left hand, which was his only hand. And his only goal was the 1940 Olympics. He wanted to represent his country again and he wanted to win gold in the Olympics. So he started training his only hand, which was the left hand. Meanwhile, he recovered and he trained his only hand for the Olympics. Guess what? In 1940, because of the Second World War, the Olympics got cancelled. He accepted that situation and he was like, okay, let me focus on 1944 Olympics. And guess what? Even 1944 Olympics got cancelled. It was only in 1948, almost after 11 years, he got the opportunity to represent his country in 1948 in the Olympics for the pistol shooting. He was competing with his only hand with all the other competitors from the world with their best hand. And guess what? He won the gold in 1948, 11 years after the incident missing on to two Olympics because of the World War. He also went on to win the 1952 gold as well with his only hand where everyone was competing with their best hand. So the reason why I'm sharing this story is because to bring things into perspective and to make some sense. There are things which are not in our control. Similarly for Kareli, where a uh, incident like a grenade being burst into his hand or the World War happening or the Olympics getting cancelled. That was not in his hand. Whatever was in his hand was to train again, accept the situation and move on. Similarly, in your situation, I know the thing which has happened should not have happened. This is very unfortunate. This is first time which has happened just 12 hours before the exam. But the only thing which you can do here is to take a day off or a two. Don't study. Just sit back. Just try to relax, stay calm and gather yourself. And don't think much about why it happened, what, how things could have happened differently. Don't discuss much with your friends. Just get back and consolidate yourself after two days and get going. That's the only thing you can do. And I can totally feel for what we have gone through. And I wish you strength and best wishes. I know there were many things which students must have planned. After the exam, some must have planned for big events in their life. Some must have planned for trips. But sometimes there are things which are not in our control. Only thing which is in our control is how we react to this and how we cope up with this. I hope this story of Carol Tuckers gives you a perspective, gives you a sense of things which are happening. If you want to get in touch with me, you can leave a comment down below or you can also DM me in my Instagram account. I'll be happy to help. I'll be happy to get in touch with you all. That's all I have to share. I wish you all the best and please take care of yourself.